Greenwich architect Doug Vanderhorn of Douglas Vanderhorn Architects shares his thoughts in today's panel on green technologies and sustainable materials. A classically focused architecture firm creating beautiful traditional residences in Connecticut and New York, Douglas Vanderhorn Architects combines traditional architecture with innovative green and sustainable technologies. Are green or sustainable technologies only applicable to new construction, or can they also be relevant when renovating an older home? Most of the technologies are transferable, so if yeah. you, you know, I mean, we put spray foam in old homes, we retrofit with LED lighting, we can, once you spray foam, you're using ERVs, you're using the same technologies if, if you're doing a substantial renovation. Exactly. And you can put in geothermal anywhere. When doing a renovation, does it always make sense to upgrade to green and sustainable technologies? It has a lot to do with the quality of the old home to begin with and where it is. If you can afford to do that, I mean, it has to be at the right location in the right type of house to, to spend that kind of money to save it. Will geothermal become more mainstream as a way to heat and cool a home in the United States? I think it has to do with the scale of the project yeah, yeah. Okay. because, you know, you're going to make an investment in the technology, but if your utility bills, because you're building such a large home, your utility bills are so meaningful that it's worth the investment. Right. You know, the, the smaller the scale of the project, the longer the payback is going to be. Of so, um, you know, if you're doing a 10,000 square foot house, I think it would be foolish to not put the geothermal in because the payback might be you know, seven or eight years. Are there other green alternatives that could be more practical or efficient than conventional mechanical systems? I'd like to add that, you know, the other technology sort of that we've used, and we've done about uh, five or six of these, is um, a cogen system okay. where, you know, this is a new technology where you're generating your own electricity mm -hmm. in the home. This, this system runs 24 hours a day. Um, when the homeowner is sleeping, their meter is actually running backwards um, because the electricity is going back on the grid. Um, electricity is inherently inefficient because of the transportation of it through the wires, so there's a large loss. If you're generating your electricity in the home, you have no loss. Uh, cogen, right, the cogen side is that the heat from the process is recaptured for your domestic hot water, to heat your swimming pool, for other things. Is foam insulation now a standard? What is it about the foam that makes it so much more energy efficient? The best sort of sideline to the, the foam's higher R value is the air infiltration. Mm -hmm. the, the reduction in infiltration is probably at least as dramatic as the improved R value. What are the essential characteristics of sustainable roofing materials? One major thing that's changed is the way we use wood shingle roofs. We are now putting sheathing um, on our roofs below the shingles, even though we're using a wood shingle. And that leads us to use a product, most of us use uh, something called Cedar Breather, which allows the air to move behind the wood shingles. I think what we're gonna find is that that's probably not working as well as the traditional purlins that we used to use under the wood shingles. These need to dry out. Wood shingle roofs need a lot of maintenance. And I think when we're talking about sustainability and roofing materials, maybe slate does make sense because of its longevity. Mm -hmm. Even terracotta tiles, these things that last 80 or 100 years are green just because of the sheer quality and the longevity of the product. Yes. What is the best advice for buying windows in keeping with a green energy strategy? Windows take a beating and they, the greenest thing you could do when you're buying a window is buy one that's going to last a long time. Okay. Because if you need to replace your windows every 20 years, it, it's not, it's, it's expensive and it's not green. So if you buy, it, it, like with the roofs, if you are specifying a product that lasts a long time, mm -hmm. um, that's green. Lighting, heating, and audiovisual are now all controlled by our phones and tablets. What are the latest innovations in smart homes? The current smart house and the one that we're all kind of familiar with requires a great deal more wiring than a standard wiring system. So, you know, every lighting circuit and every switch 
is wired back to a central location. It requires a great deal more copper. Um, the real innovation in smart house, I think, is coming from wireless. Um, it'll come from uh, smart light bulbs, which are actually in, you know, in use in some places and, and being developed. So the light bulb itself will communicate wirelessly with the switch, although there's power to it, of course, right. but the integration of it is wireless. So as our appliances and things go wireless, as, as in the Sonos sound system, mm -hmm. which uses a great deal less wire. How are these new sustainable technology systems and products affecting your design? I think our as design. professionals, most of us are trying to integrate all this stuff mm -hmm. and yet not have it affect the design, not have it be really visible or in your face. As soon as those speakers came out that had good fidelity and you tape them right into the ceiling and you can't see them at all, they Im are an immediate hit. That that's, that's the kind of technology that, that, that people want. Is living off the grid possible in Fairfield County? I think that you'd have to have a dramatic change in solar technology before people who want fine, beautiful homes are going to get off the grid because you need a lot of a lot, a lot of electricity to provide the lifestyle that our clientele expects. What are the top three building features in a sustainable home design? I think the top three um, for, for me and perhaps all of us is the geothermal, the spray foam insulation, and the LED lighting. I think those those three alone change change the game. Who is driving the decisions on sustainable building practices in green home technologies? Sometimes clients bring ideas, sometimes we bring ideas, sometimes we hear about something. Um, continuing education is a, a requirement for professionals in this, in this uh, area. That gives manufacturers an opportunity to introduce <coughs> us all to these things. So I, th I think that does play a role in, in uh, educating us.